Hello, everybody! Wait, are we recording? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, we're, we are. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody! It is I, the one that was your Big Mac, and welcome back to Ace Attorney, or Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, where I'm still currently experiencing Vertigo. Man, I, man, I fucking hate, man, I fucking hate the summer season. Or rather, seasonal allergies is technically the correct terminology. Anyway, last time, we nearly got turned into Swiss cheese by the mob. The mafia, I mean. But, you know what? Detective Gumshoe came in clutch. Oh, man. Whew. That was a close one. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. World Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both pro pro the prosecution and defense will be able to present the sex of evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In, in yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for the case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people pres present in Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimony, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems to have been on edge today. I mean, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls... Miss D. Pasquez to the stand. All right, let's go. Miss D. Pasquez is a producer who was present, who was pre present in the in the Studio Two trailer that day. Well, the witness state her name and occupation. D. Pasquez. I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the tra trailer in Studio Two, as everyone here knows. Yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> Edward can't catch a fucking break. Please, please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. Oh, that one's getting perverted. Or is it me who's getting... Nah, pfft. I entered the trailer. Oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12. Sharp. It ended at 4. Therefore, er, there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so Sal had to take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer later when... We all went to Studio One. That, that is all. Oh, there's some major... There is... There's some major, major contradictions here. You were fatigued, sir. You had cell training. The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk with that monkey head topping, toppling over. I, I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Enter the trailer. Let's see. Wait a minute. Did she even eat the steak? Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's see. Steak blade, there we go. Ah, as I thought. Clean me ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it, it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Fasquez and Mr. Manella ate at the table outside the trailer. Yet, there are no bones left on the plate. The plates were bare. Oh, look at that face. We know we got her. Miss Fasquez. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? 
don't think I know how. <laughs> you ate the bone too. <laughs> that's that's a that's a funny one. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like in like that incinerator. I, I, I see. So what was Miss Vasquez doing doing during her break? Is it obvious, Your Honor? Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Are, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai, and then you did it. Killed him with your own hands. Mr. Wright, isn't it that a lot of presumptions? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let, let, let me claim. You, you say I did it. Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today was would be as boring as all, all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was the murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The, the, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Well, definitely not. I don't know. So it's either I think you could or you couldn't, could you? However, if we, if we remember from the photo uh, on the dirt that was used on Hammer... And if and we also know that the fence outside the trailer was broken. You couldn't. I think you I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha, you see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning the Seal Samurai Spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was was found le lying next to the body's victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the spear was not the murder weapon. Because the five-year-old photo can prove that... Wrong, Mr. Wright. But I haven't said anything yet. I know you won't know by now that you, when you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can sense it with my fake blood. Okay, so I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with all the sensing. Right, okay, so here's the real evidence, Your Honor. Wait, it was not? Oh! Okay, sorry, I, I jumped I jumped the gun a bit. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the middle of the action scene run through. But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Oh, order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? I think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be hurt. <laughs> Shutting down, Edgeworth! Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the Samurai Spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us? I can tell you. I would, would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon. Now we present the five-year-old photo. Look at this. Look at this photo. What, what is that? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on top of... At the top of the stairs. Order. Order. If I cannot have order in this trial, if I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still you still can't see? 
See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? what? Are you saying... Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Oh, look at her. She is so surprised. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss Steve Vasquez meet Jack Hammer outside of the studio trailer. Then she did it. She, she pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had di had himself done five years ago. So whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, oh, very creative, Mr. Wright. I couldn't use a man like you on my script writing staff. You, you deny that... You deny that was what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found in Studio One, was it not? And the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned the tra to the trailer on the space of, of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed the body? The break, the break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to, to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside the cost, his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt this with the body? She had another way. Because, remember, the fan was there. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than her own hand, with her own hands? For instance, actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry the, that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. The best was, he carried the body to Studio One. And he used the Studio Fan to do it! Recall your testimony. There was there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the fan to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else got there, you you put the body into the into the magistrate costume. Hold on, hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manelli that drove the van. Are you su suggesting that Mr. Manella was a cons conspirator? Of course he was! Of, of course, Sam Manella has been, a cons has been a conspirator. The body has had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez would have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Seal Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I... Win? The whole courtroom got quiet. Um, so what happens next? Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said. I just said that. Wait, so you mean... He fast what? So it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? This is awkward! Oh my god! Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, you just engaged in, in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I, pr that I murdered Hammer. Right. But, that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, mm. Of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does not seem very likely she did it, but there's no proof. Ashworth isn't sure. 
Blackwell. I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Right. What do I do now? Testify again, Vasquez. Let's have her testify again, the keeper here. Uh, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again. No one to give up, Mr. White. Think about it. Even though I've ordered to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said it all. There is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you ask the same questions and get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn. You come so far only to fail. As it seems, there's no further questions. I would like to end the cross examination of of the witness, Miss Fasquez. Edgeworth? Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was at Jeff's Honor. I did it. I see you very well. <laughs> Your Honor, I request that the, that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see your own point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Hmm. Well, uh, yes, um, indeed. Verily, I say, ergo, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The, wit the witness will testify to, to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. Nick, what did Edgeworth... Who knows, he probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one who, that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that, Edgeworth. Edgeworth is starting to get a change of heart. Oh man, is the Phantom Thief? Is this the Phantom Thief, Stewie? I was with Sal and Old Bag, the, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. Immediately, I called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. I see no issues raised with by the testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross examination. Okay, Nick, we're, we're close. We're real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Well, yeah, 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 we know that, we know that. Uh, let's press on this a little further. Because why would she do that when a murder just takes place? The script and your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. I wouldn't, it wouldn't do to have them, have them stolen. No, I guess not. Press harder. Wait a second, I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Yeah, I guess. Hmm, very well. Miss Vasquez, please continue. Your... Your own. I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have to. She would have. She would have had to know about the murder bef before she going to Studio One. Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. What have you just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Are you thinking of a career chase to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss now Miss Fasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I have I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do anything. So I left him behind. Why? Wait! Wait a minute. Wait. How'd you, how did you know about the injury? Uh, how, how did I know? Sal, he told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. 
We have to find something to peg on here, here, or everything we've done would be wasted. I believe you, Nick. Go get him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think this is it. You knew the hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the seal samurai who was injured. It was well powers. What? What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg in the in this photo. Well, that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. But pretending. One person was injured in that run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I I already said it. It said it was Sal who told me. That's that's right. He must have gone that wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. You saw Hammer limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when he was doing this, well, he would have, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order, order, I have order. Witness, can you refute this claim? Hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out this one, Miss Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Why are the real ghosts always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen hard on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you wouldn't need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there's a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on this matter? In other words, can you prove she has a motive? Of course I can fucking prove it! Okay, I have proof, and I'll show you. I present to the court... I present to the court evidence as to Miss Fasquez's motive in the murder. The five-year-old's photo. This is my proof. This is the photo, the photo from before. This is the photo. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Hmm. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With Dee Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, this case, the case currently up for trial, it began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, the accident per. Uh, precipitate. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. He made him work for you for petty change. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Am and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. <laughs> One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here. Yet you yet you you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if it was it was Mr. Hammer who who had killed Dean Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Vasquez have? Yes. Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I'd never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive. That's the only way. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? 
It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? 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 Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with his sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady to thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill Dee Vasquez, who had, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Up she is. She crushed her, uh, her pipe. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. Th there's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. What What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel. Manuel. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No. No. How could this? It was it. It was... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene, Dan. No. Manuel! Manuel! Don't touch! Don't touch him, Vasquez. No! Please. Please don't die. Please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. Mr. Edgeworth, where's Steve Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm as collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. There appears to have brought about yet another miracle. I uh, thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. What well, powers was in this? That, that he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, Your Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. World Powers, not guilty. A. A. That that is all. This court this court is adjourned. Whew, that was quite a handful. I I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I now know that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. Bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but the thing that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Tell me what? Tell me why, Mr. Wright? Huh? Tell me, why did Mr. Hammer want to frame me? Did? Did we have any evidence? Wait a minute. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted you wanted to put the blame on you. Let's see. Maybe Hammer was jealous of the popularity. It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was, was a base star once. But he was reduced to an acting in the kids' show and was in the and that the villain the boo. The kids loved to steal samurai, so he hated you. I I think I understand. He he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Con con congratulations, WP. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks to you. I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume, man. Is something wrong? No, no, of course not. Ah! Nick! Edgeworth! Oh, look, look, look at... Look at this guy here. Say something, right? I'm not good... I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't, you don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really wanted to thank you. Vasquez would have gone away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. 
Ah, er, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better if had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in the way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me ever again. That's what I came to tell you. Um, Mr. Wright, was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if they're rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why did they get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with, with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on the <laughs> We're never going to find out, aren't we? I was quite disturbed by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Pink Princess! Nick, this is it! The new show starts today. You're gonna watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kinda surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? And we have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to Wait, he played the lead? <laughs> that's fu Okay, that's- that's funny. That's really funny. I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world's re ready for the real world powers. That is really funny. I, f I forgot about that. He plays the, uh... Brand new episode has been added. Oh, this one. This one. Oh man, folks, we are in for a doozy. Well then, that's it for today's episode. Yeah, well, I mean, it's been on the shorter end as well. Anyways, that's it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the content I do, please consider subscribing as I will really appreciate it. And it'll help my channel grow. Be sure, be sure to uh, like and comment so this video can get pushed in the algorithm. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to start episode four, Turnabout Goodbyes. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, bye bye